big trouble now for Connecticut's roads, bridges, trains, and buses. The state budget crisis is now threatening hundreds of projects all around the state. The Connecticut Red Ink crisis is now hitting the state's special transportation fund, and it's coming faster than a Metro North train rolling into the station right now. It will be here quickly. Uh, News 8's chief political correspondent Mark Davis live tonight with the very latest. Mark. Hi, Darren and Ann. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. Now, I know that you probably have state budget crisis fatigue, but this is another state budget crisis that's approaching much faster than anticipated. Receipts from the Connecticut tax on gasoline and diesel are declining at such a rapid rate that the state's special transportation fund is now expected to be in the red in six months. Those deficit conditions prevent us from selling bonds for transportation. That creates an immediate crisis in our ability to pay existing obligations. The bond markets in New York will not loan money to the state for transportation projects unless the transportation fund has a positive cash flow to pay back on the loans. That means all of the projects, like the Mix Master in Waterbury and I-84 in Hartford, that the governor has been pushing throughout his second term in his 30-year, $100 billion transportation rebuild plan, are crumbling before his eyes. Without some sort of new funding source like a hike in the gas tax or electronic tolls, which was rejected by the Assembly this year, the state would face cutbacks that include reducing DOT staff that would impact snow removal and other maintenance programs and close all rest areas. We would need to significantly increase rail and bus fares while also reducing service. We would need to eliminate the purchase of up to 200 replacement rail cars and buses. It's going to hit every community in some shape or form, whether you use, you know, buses, whether you use rails, whether there's projects in your own town. There are dozens and dozens, maybe even hundreds of transportation projects all around the state that would be affected by these cutbacks. The governor today specifically mentioned the new garage project at Union Station in New Haven. Without some change in this funding source, that would never be built. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.